Ready? Yeah. Imagine if you were the boss. It's insane. Of all your family's money. Oh, I'm loving this. You could buy whatever you wanted. I think I like that one, but then I also saw this one. Whenever you wanted. That is gorgeous. Without having to ask your parents. Went shopping, got swimmers, got myself a new shirt. For a whole month. Seven. I think it was over $200. Hi. So you think this is going to last us two days or one day? What can you do with this camera that you can't do with your phone? This is the beginning of a dictatorship. Imogen is an energetic 15-year-old with an expensive hobby. Dancing is a huge part of my life. I spend up to like 16 hours a week doing it and I just live for the stage. And her busy lifestyle is costing her family heaps. Dancing does involve buying costumes, the makeup, as well as the lessons. It is a high cost, but I don't exactly know how much. I wish Imogen understood how much hard work is required to have the lifestyle that they have and have the things that they do get. So what would happen if Imogen was put in charge of the family budget? My name's Eddie Wu, and I love to teach people all there is to know about numbers and I'm about to make Imogen a real-life teenage boss. Imogen lives with a family of performers. My brother is an actor and he does short films, musicals, and my dad is a professional bodybuilder. He won the world titles for natural bodybuilding. Who is this one? As a whole, our whole family is very busy, but you know what? I think I'm the busiest. <laughs> Imogen does tap, hip-hop, cheerleading and singing. And she also loves to shop. Oh, that's really pretty. I mainly shop for clothes, makeup, books, stationery. And there is one item high on her list. If money wasn't an issue, I would love to get a high-quality camera. I'm looking for just, like, a camera to take photos of people and, like, myself and stuff. I would use this for social media purposes. I think I like that one, but then I also saw this one and you can, like, see yourself. I don't think Imogen has a full idea of what it takes to run a household. Pretty cool. Go on. If Imogen was in charge of absolutely everything, it would be a massive eye-opener for her. Imogen is part of a busy family, and with a lot of activities come a lot of costs. Her dad thinks she has no idea how much money is actually spent on her. So what if she had to juggle all those expenses for an entire month? Let's go find out. Marinus. Eddie. Great to see you. How are yeah. you going? Very well, very well. You, you? must be Imogen. Yeah. Hi, Imogen. I'm Eddie. Nice to meet you. How are you going? And it's Josiah, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, man. Great to meet you. I'm going to try to help Imogen change her attitude towards money. Do you mind if I come in and show Let's you? go inside. Yeah. yeah. Well, Thanks, man. With a hands-on experiment that will shake up the whole family. Imogen, we let you, for a month, control the family's budget. How would you feel if you got the chance to do that? I kind of feel sorry for my family, but <laughs> okay. I'll try my best. All right, sure. Have you ever done anything like trying to manage a sum of money before? Nope. Okay, <laughs> all right. Well, this will definitely be a learning experience. Being responsible and thinking about planning ahead and making sure everyone has enough, that's going to be your role. You're going to have that job. It's oh, not easy. Yeah. Okay? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> you seem a little nervous. Do you think that this is... Not something I'm, that Imogen's ready for? I'm scared. <laughs> but Don't blame me. <laughs> OK, now, this case has the entire family's budget for the whole month. It's $4,138. Oh, what? It's a lot of money. It's real. Have you ever seen yeah, this I've amount of cash in I've never seen it out like that before. Imogen, you make the choices. You're the boss. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to help you but the decisions are all going to be yours. So, good luck, Imogen. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Welcome to my world. <laughs> it's a lot of money, and it makes me feel a little bit jealous, but at the same time, hopefully she's generous to me. I feel pretty powerful, I'm gonna admit, but it's gonna be interesting, very interesting.
Mamma mia, that is something. Oh my god. Oh, what are you going to buy with it? It looks like clothes to me and makeup and books and a camera. Oh god. <laughs> I have to look after my whole family for a long time, Mom. Do you have to pay bills? I don't know. Well, let's hope not because you have no idea. Nope, I don't. <laughs> Before Imogen does her own budget... We'll go to Josiah's room. We need to see where the family spend their money. Hey, Josiah, how are you going? Good. What are you up to right now? Playing games. Wow, yeah, you're pretty serious about your games by the look of it. Yep. Computer games, not cheap. And it's no surprise. For Imogen, it's all about dance. These are some of my dance costumes. These are part yeah. of the costs, I guess. Of Definitely. Of all the dancing you've been doing. And shopping. Wow, OK. Pretty expensive to buy yeah. anything Some for full price. Some things are really expensive. But according to Imogen, her dad's the biggest spender. Well, these are all my dad's bodybuilding trophies from wow. most of his competitions. He's quite a high achiever, isn't he? Yeah. In terms of, like, preparing for a competition, what do you think dad spends money on when it comes to being ready? Well, his food prep, so that consists of a certain amount of protein, carbs and vegetables, so... That definitely adds up. OK, so this is obviously something you're going to have to factor into the yes. budget. Because this certainly isn't the kind of thing you want to jeopardise, yeah? Mm-hmm. Imogen, it's time to have a look at this budget. Yep. So, we'll start here. Now, we begin with what we call fixed costs. We start by going through the things that have to be paid each month, like mortgage and insurance. And now here are some costs which I'm really interested in because these have to do with you and yes. your brother. So we've got dance and singing. Now, when you put those together, $800 and $200 a month, that's $1,000. <laughs> $1, the first thought was like, yeah, that's over a year, until I did realise that it is only a month and really makes me appreciate the time I have at dancing and I should really, really, really make it worth it. <laughs> the $4,138 that you get to control it all has to do with what's on the next page. Oh, thank goodness. So, <laughs> let me show you. These are what we call your variable costs. Mm -hmm. okay? So, because they're variable, you can change them to be whatever you want. You can increase things, you can decrease things. These are the day-to-day -day costs that include food, clothing and entertainment. If you want to save for something that, that's going to cost, you know, $100, that means that $100 has to come from somewhere in here. Yes. Right? So, this is your opportunity. You're the boss. You get to make the decisions. Yes. Why don't you take some time, form your own plan and have a think about it, and then I'll come back when you're ready. Okay? Cool. All right. Good luck, Imogen. Thank you. The last time I did a budget was never. <laughs> I've never done a budget. It's overwhelming. What I need as far as food, that's a non-negotiable. I know that sounds like it's a little one-sided, but that's a part of what I do to make a living, so I can't go without that. I'm hoping she can be a bit generous to me and maybe give me like $10 or something per week. Because that'll be pretty good. At the moment, I'm splitting the groceries up and the cost that we usually do. And I'm writing down the needs instead of the wants. Yeah, it's a bit difficult. <laughs> yeah. I think my family will be a little bit overwhelmed, but I think I've nailed the budget. I'm pretty happy with how it went. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for being patient. Hey. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm just worried that there's going to be a few arguments. I don't know. Time will tell. You ready? Show me the damage. Um, <laughs> hey. <laughs> so. Food. So it was $1,600 mm -hmm. and I am taking it down to $1,400. How do you propose to change that? Instead of buying what we want, we're going to focus on what we need. And how, how do you think that's going to affect you? I'm not going to have as much chocolate. OK. With a competition coming, Dad's worried that the budget will affect his diet. She needs to make sure I get enough meat, carbohydrates, my fats and all that kind of stuff has to be catered for, especially from Monday. <laughs> We need to communicate about how much mm -hmm. chicken and rice right. that you need. That is, you know, a major thing. Um, the pet expenses, which were $130, I'm going to take down to $80 because 
Uh, we can take initiative and clean the dogs ourselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's see if that happens. <laughs> it will, it will. That'll be interesting. Um, video games. So, Josiah, video games are more your alley. So, I was thinking those $20, if they are not assigned to video games and you don't need them, that can go towards your pocket money as well. Clothing and shoes it was $400 and I changed that to $350 as it's mainly what I use. And then I came to pocket money. So, Dad, you have $60 oh, and you have $40. $60 for the month? Yeah. What planet do you live on? <laughs> $60. I think that's enough. That's a month. a month. That's what you got to understand. Yeah. That's a month. Yeah. But I think $60 is reasonable. This is also really important for her to be able to set a goal for herself. And this is therefore the price of that, and it's going to have an impact on, on everyone in the family. Yeah. So, why don't you tell us about the savings, what's happening yeah, here? Yeah, I've reduced quite a lot. So, I put that to savings, which is $500. That's for the month? Yes, which was obviously going towards the camera. Imogen saving $500 to spend on herself, I think, is uh, steep. So, this is going to be an interesting month. Yeah. Remember, Imogen, I'm only a phone call away. Yeah, okay? cool. See you guys. See, See ya. Okay. See ya. Bye. I just remembered about one thing. Contacts. I've nearly run out. But I could probably wear glasses. Well, you've got pocket money. I'm going to be wearing my glasses for the next month. Feel a bit ripped off. And here's my new look for the month. Today was absolutely insane. It was very, very, very overwhelming. I had to take it all in. Um, I have good plans and I hope my family can trust me. Yeah, let's just see what happens. I'm gonna go get some sleep and start this whole thing. Let's go. Imogen's first challenge is to tackle the grocery shop and she's feeling the pressure. Dad has a bodybuilding competition coming up, meaning his amount of protein, carbs, and all that has to be balanced and sorted out perfectly. Therefore, I'm writing a shopping list so I don't forget a thing. <laughs> what can I do to help? Um, well, I know you need protein, so yep. chicken. Yeah. And what about broccoli? Well, with broccoli, we're gonna need about five kilos. Oh my goodness. I know I am buying quite a lot of chicken and vegetables, more than I thought I would buy, and I hope it's just not too expensive. <laughs> All right, I feel like I'm gonna forget something. <laughs> Straight to the chocolate aisle, right? <laughs> Today I'm going shopping with my two best friends, Taylor and Jade, and I know they're super excited. <laughs> For the budget, I'm hoping to spend under $350. So I'll go look at um, the chicken. Seven. So, one, two, three, four, five. So there's five, and then we actually need seven, but it's okay. We can we can live with that. One kilo of lean beef meat. Oh no, this one. Need to find broccoli. But how many kilos? Five. five. Imogen needs five kilos of broccoli, but there aren't any scales to weigh the veggies. Wait, do you know what's a good idea? Is this just a kilo? Okay, well, if that's a kilo, I can, <laughs> I can measure it. <laughs> it feels like a kilo. Go, go, go. That's a kilo. <laughs> In. Go. <laughs> Two. More. Alrighty. One more. This is a lot of broccoli. One. Two. <laughs> it's looking up. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> Alright. Okay, we've got all oh, that broccoli. That doesn't look right. <laughs> well, it's alright, we can have broccoli for a while. Washing powder. Yeah, washing powder. I don't know what my parents use. Arctic breeze or sunshine fresh. I think you can smell. Or it. spice temptations. Yeah, you can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Sunshine fresh. Sweet. Oh my gosh, it's getting bigger and bigger. The girls are sticking to the list. 
But who's keeping track of the cost? I hope it comes to under $350, but I highly doubt that it will. This could be a budget blowout. Oh my gosh, this is so much. <laughs> yeah, just put them on. Let's go. Let's put it on. Oh, that is so heavy. <laughs> so that comes to $201. Yay! <laughs> okay, let's go. Now let's get some chocolate. First task is boss. I'm I'm pretty confident going in pretty strong. <laughs> Back at home, Dad seems happy with Imogen's shop. What are you doing? Making some broccoli puree for this week's meals. Nice. Yummy. Yeah. Really good. For the first shop that she's done on her own, she's done pretty good. That broccoli is going to last me um, at least five days. So shopping today, our first grocery shop was really cool. I had a good time. I know my friends did too. We're very innovative. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> really makes me realise how much you have to think on the spot of, like, oh, what are we missing and stuff like that, but good times. After saving $148 on the groceries, Imogen is determined to save even more so she can buy her expensive camera. Today I'm going to the movies with my dance studio, which means that there may be some snacks for during the movies. If I'm not hungry, I might not need to buy anything. But her discipline doesn't last for long. It did turn out that I was hungry, so I did have to get some food. I probably could have saved it if I did eat beforehand. So today I'm at the shops buying my friend her farewell gift because she's leaving on Thursday. I'm here with my friend Taylor. So I'm going to go ice skating with my friends tonight, which is more money out of the entertainment part, which I feel like I've used a lot of money out of than expected. But not everyone benefits from the loosening of the purse strings. Friends, decide where are you going? Movies. Are you going to get any snacks? I don't know. I might do you some of my money. Just as well, because I don't know what other money you have. Halfway through the experiment, Imogen discovers she's overspent on entertainment by $80 and comes up with a plan to take from another part of the budget. I will give Eddie a ring and see what he thinks. OK, so Imogen, you mentioned that in order to cover this expense, you've taken away from groceries. But yeah. I remember when we were sitting down and making the budget, we had to be really careful with that because of your dad's competition prep. So do you think that there's going to be still enough money left in the grocery budget for the rest of the month? Yeah, I think if we can maintain how we're going, I think we'll be fine. OK, fantastic. Well done so far, but you never know what might be around the corner. So please let me know, get in touch if you have any other questions. Yeah, thank you so much. Hey, girls, how are you? Hello, we're good. After solving her first big problem, Imogen decides to reward herself with a day out with the girls. Definitely. Oh, I love yep. It. I love shopping. $200 are assigned to clothes and shoes. Oh, this is mad. Well, when I see sales, the first thing I want to do is buy. <laughs> Actually, I don't mind it. Sorry. I think 40. They're like 40 bucks. But being in charge of the money is affecting Imogen's willingness to bring out the cash. I don't know if I really want to spend $30. I don't know, I'm just not feeling it, you know? You know what I mean? Yep. Um, yeah, I was looking out for some bargains, but there wasn't too many and kind of just didn't really feel it today. Imogen's self-control today brings her one step closer to buying a camera. But Dad could be about to throw a spanner in the works. Hello. Hi. What? <laughs> what did you get? Nothing. No shopping? No, I just went and had lunch. You didn't buy anything at all? No. Well, I just got back from shopping. Yeah. And I bought some stuff. That's a $74 spending spree that will put a big hole in Imogen's savings. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It was all on special. Price doesn't say so, does it? Mm. I'm glad I didn't spend that much money, given that my dad had spent money that I wasn't aware about. It's definitely going to be a big decrease in the clothes and shoes section. 
I'm not gonna have much over the next two weeks. Well, at least I, at least somebody spent some money. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. And Dad has more surprises to test Imogen's budget. I just got a bill for roadside assistance. The two cars. There it is. So times two? Yes, times two. I got the roadside assistance bill from my dad. It was $176 added up for both cars. Oh, that can go in your parking and oh, petrol thing. Petrol? Yeah, but I haven't given you all of the petrol receipts yet. Well, how come I haven't gotten them? Well, because I haven't told you yet. <laughs> well, how much more? All right, so for the work car, we've got $70. And the other car, 55 And the other one was 50 That's fine. Physio is $240 that I haven't gotten in the past two weeks. And I could even get more if I took some money off your pocket money. Yeah, but I've allocated it for the next two weeks already. Have you? Oh, I certainly have. Alrighty, well then, I have to No one's help. taken my money. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Three, two, two. I'm going to take some money out of the groceries because we're going really well. And also physio, because I haven't had it for the past two weeks. We still got $151 left in unexpected. Done. Very good. Dad has chucked a lot on me, more than expected, and he didn't think I was going to be able to fix it all up, but I did. Have fun. <laughs> Thanks for a little surprise. You're welcome. I am. Saving $500 is a big Hi. ask. I bought contacts. And Imogen's family just aren't sticking to the plan. $197. 997 197 It's just stressful when they don't tell me what they're doing. Like, I find out all of a sudden that they've done all this stuff and I'm not, no, like, I'm not notified about that. That's the annoying part. What happened to wearing your glasses? I'm not wearing my glasses every day. It hurts my ears. Beauty is pain. <laughs> I don't know where Imogen's going to find the money for the contacts, but she kind of has to find the money because we already bought them. So, yeah, she has to find the money. I'm going to find the money for probably in his pocket money, medical expenses and the unexpected costs. As long as we maintain how we're going, I think we're going to have a good week. So, Dad, um, you've got a lot of clothes. Would you like to show me some of them? Yeah, I've got these. Dad's done it again. There's no money left in the clothing budget because Dad has found his love for a specific shop in the shopping centre and he keeps going back. I see here you've got um, two pairs of the same jeans. Yeah, they're slightly different colour. S slightly? Yeah. yeah. These ones are a bit darker. Same, same jeans. They're different. I had an opportunity to uh, get something for myself for a change. And what, not worry about us anymore? No, not worry about anyone else. <laughs> yeah. It's Imogen's final week as boss, and Dad's newfound love of clothes shopping is jeopardising her chances of buying a camera. So she wants to remind him what is at stake for her. Here it is. Which one, are you, which one are we looking at? That one. I, with the leftover money, I would really like to spend it on a camera, but it is $494, not the cheapest. Why can't you just use your phone? You get great photos from, from your phone. That, that's no $500 need. less, more pictures from your phone. <laughs> it's completely different. Well, saving for a camera like this would take quite a long time for myself to save up, as I don't have a job yet. Oh, well, that's mad. So I don't think I'd ever really be able to save up for a camera. <laughs> I still think your phone would be better. Yeah, but I don't agree. In a final push to the finish, Imogen puts herself and her family on a shoestring budget. Today I had the day at home and I kind of just relaxed the whole time, so no money was spent today, so yeah. Even DIY pet care saves big bucks. Now my cousin and Josiah are brushing the dogs making sure they're still good and not matted with knots. But Dad's clothes shopping addiction is still a concern. 
So Dad went on a shopping trip and I'm expecting him to walk through the door any minute now, so I'm just gonna wait. It's Imogen's final day as the boss, and she's been on a roller coaster. Every time she's managed to get on top of things, her family's just given her another expense. Her original plan was to have $500 left over. Let's see how she went with that. Thank you for having me back again. It's really great to see you. I'm glad everyone's still alive. After a month of being under Imogen as the boss, and so I, I bet you're eager to find out how she's fared on all of the different parts of the budget. So Imogen, I might hand it over to you to talk us through. So for food and groceries, um, we usually spend $1,600 a month. We only spent $1,233. Okay. So it was reduced yeah. Wait, and... and 39 cents. Yeah, don't forget. Clothing, shoes and makeup. We usually spend $400 and then I allocated $200, thinking halving it, oh, we can do fine with this one. We spent $557. <laughs> Dad. Medical, we usually spend $240. We spent $257, so we did spend more than usual. Mm. So that did include just size contact lenses. That's Were okay. they worth it? Did that Yeah, okay? it was worth it, yeah. For our petrol, we usually spend $600 a month. Mm -hmm. And we actually only spent $393. There you go, that's a good saving. And so I bet you're keen to know how much Imogen's actually saved, because she had some very ambitious goals. So, here we go, an entire month of Imogen being the boss. What we have left over is... $340. How do you feel looking at that amount? I think it's good that she did save, but I, I honestly thought it would have been a bit more, <laughs> to be honest. What? Do you know how many unexpected costs <laughs> I got? Your car. Dancing, did heaps of stuff. So it's contact lenses, I did good. Mm. No, no, you what? did, absolutely you did good, you know, because we usually spend that. Hmm. Yeah. So, Imogen, I remember at the beginning of the month, one of the things you were dreaming about was getting a new camera. So now that you've made it to the end and you have this amount of money, do you have any ideas of what you're going to do with it? Yeah, I think it's a bit unfair if I just spend it all on myself. So um, we all have wanted for a while is to paint the house again. So I'm definitely going to put it towards that. Hmm, that's very, very kind of you. And it's something that everyone's going to benefit from, I guess. Yeah. I think it's a smart move. Yeah, yeah that's okay. great. I'm really happy that she's chosen to put the money towards painting the house. It is long overdue. <laughs> when you are in charge of money, you understand the value of it. And I think that that is, has kind of come home for her. What is something you've learnt over the last month that you might take with you now as you manage your own money? Um, I'm not going to spend it all in one go and I'm going to definitely save up for my future. Own. That's really cool. Now, can we see all the other money back in there, please? <laughs> <laughs>